morning, folks, and welcome to another episode of Highline Staten Island. So today, we're stepping into the world of an attorney. An attorney that not only handles real estate, but an attorney that handles liquor licenses. So if you're looking to sell or buy your home, you're looking to open a bar, deli, or restaurant, give him a call. Neil Vasaki will get the job done. So as Jose said, Neil Vasaki, attorney at law, handles anything from real estate closings to liquor licenses, two major factors, two major things happening on Staten Island. Uh, a lot of restaurant owners go through him. A lot of people buying and selling houses go through him. Very professional office, beautiful office. Let's get inside, let's meet Neil and, and check it out. Okay, so here we are with Neil Vasaki, attorney at law. Neil, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and what kind of uh, business you do? First of all, good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me and coming oh, by. Thank you. Really thank appreciate you. it in this cold weather. Uh, uh, basically, I've been an admitted attorney on Staten Island for approximately 30 years. I graduated law school in 1992, uh, primarily focusing on real estate transactions. Uh, and another part of my business is obtaining liquor licenses for clients. Those are my two uh, big parts of my practice. Yeah. Okay. And can you just, speaking as how we're realtors, brokers, can you right. just give our listeners a quick educational session on a typical real estate transaction? Oh, absolutely. The side? All right. Well, a typical real estate transaction length of time is generally 60 to 90 days. Uh, on the contract, there's uh, several important dates. Pardon me while I lower my phone. Um, yeah, so there are two uh, important dates on a real estate transaction uh, contract. Well, one is the honor about date, and we generally uh, put the honor about date 60 days from a fully executed contract of sale. Okay. And the honor about date means just that, because somebody's going for financing, it's generally 60 to 90 days, depending on when the purchaser can get their financing and depending on if the seller is naturally ready to uh, vacate the premise and move on to a secondary home or, or rent, etc. Uh, the other important thing as far as a date on a contract is a mortgage commitment date. And generally speaking, that's 45 days from an executed contract. So those are the two important time dates on a contract. And uh, assuming everything falls in place, a lender uh, is able to give somebody financing, um, that, that would take somewhere between 30 and 45 days. And then we would naturally close two to three months. Of course, there are variations. If it's an all cash deal, uh, if for certain reasons a contract has to be limited in time, um, there's other ways to date a contract other than on or about. It's on or before, uh, on a certain date, on or before time being of the essence. So there's different ways to structure a contract's closing date. But initially, when I said the on or about, that's probably 95% of the of the transactions. Uh, and then in the meantime, uh, an attorney who represents a uh, buyer would order a title report on the property to make sure that everything is good with the property as far as title issues. Um, so in essence, as if you're buying a used property uh, from a builder. Every, it's as is condition, but as far as title, chain of title, uh, there could be maybe one owner before or upwards of five or 10 or 15 owners in the chain of title. It depends on how long the property's been built. So we would also make sure there are no judgments, there are no liens. Uh, there's nothing else associated with the property because the most important thing is when you represent a purchaser, you want to make sure that when you close and the purchaser gets those keys, everything is ironclad and you, know, you do your job professionally and responsibly, uh, tying up all loose ends. So uh, that's pretty much a real estate transaction. And from the seller's point of view, Naturally, they would go to a bank, they would uh, go to a lender, they would go to a finance company, they would give them all their documents, they usually look for W-2s, tax returns, pay stubs, uh, see how the, the person's credit is, uh, and that would be really on the, uh, on the purchaser's side. And again, as soon as, assuming everything goes right and smooth, you know, we could have a nice transaction and close in 60 to 90 days. But that's really the real estate transaction, I'd be happy to answer anybody's questions who'd like to call me in the future. Um, you'll have my cell phone, you'll have my office phone, and I'm always available to take on questions, clients, and just speak to anybody 
with uh, any regards, uh, if they need uh, questions answered or need a little, a little help, I'm always there to help out. Um, the second portion of my uh, practice is liquor licenses. Uh, in New York State, uh, a, uh, a commercial establishment must have a New York State liquor license to serve alcohol. And that's uh, supermarkets, delis, catering halls, gentlemen's clubs, uh, restaurants, bars, taverns. Again, anywhere, uh, social clubs, anywhere where uh, alcohol is being served, uh, believe it or not, you must obtain a New York State liquor license. Um, and then with that, there's lots of rules, lot, lots of regulations with the New York State Liquor Authority. Uh, they're very specific. Uh, there's a lot of nuances. And um, the combined years of doing that in my practice, I work with somebody who's doing it well over 30 years, and I've been doing it about 14 years now. Uh, we have tremendous experience. And as a matter of fact, sometimes we, uh, we help out other attorneys because if you go on the Liquor Authority's website and you pull out the uh, instructions for an application, they may look on its face fairly simple, just do the 20, 30 things that they request uh, and submit it. But it's really a lot more difficult than that. Like I said, there's lots of nuances. There's lots of ways to measure things. There's certain criteria. Uh, and uh, in this office, we have a real good grasp on what it takes to get somebody a liquor license and, uh, you know, of, of course the individual or the corporation has to fit the criteria, very strict criteria. Um, you know, no felons, convicted felons, if somebody was a convicted felon, they'd have to get a, uh, a letter, basically, uh, it's a disabilities, I forget the terminology, um, but it basically allows a person with a, com a conviction of a felony to actually obtain a license. Um, and you have to be a uh, 21 and over and some other uh, criteria. And then naturally we would need some other items. If it's a corporation, we would need the, uh, the formation of the corporation, uh, all the individuals who are on the corporation, how many shares. We would need a menu for a restaurant. We would need diagrams. Uh, we'd have to make sure there's other things that, um, other rules, if it's a full alcohol that you're not, if, if you're within uh, 500 feet of three or more restaurants, you'd have to do a whole separate hearing with that. Um, also with uh, full alcohol, schools and churches, very, very specific criteria as to how close you could be to a school and a church. And then you would need a lease, um, you would need uh, menus, you would need uh, the certificate of occupancy for the building. So there's a laundry list of items that you would need and uh, we certainly know what those items are. And once we uh, got everything from the clients, we would put it together, we would really review it, make sure that um, Everything is very specific because we don't like to leave things out. Uh, and we would file. And then at that point, you know, we would, we would wait and we would follow up uh, through, uh, the, uh, through the process to obtaining the full uh, alcohol license. Yeah. Okay. And th those, are, those are basically generally the two uh, items, uh, two areas of, of law that this office focuses on. Very interesting. Very in-depth. And, and again, naturally, if, you know, since I've been an attorney many years, I'm a native Staten Islander for about 40 years. Um, and I'm associated and, you know, friendly with a bunch of other attorneys. If, if you have some other area of law which you might need help with, if you gave me a call, naturally, I would maybe recommend several people who are, who are experts in that field of law uh, to help you out. Um, again, the office is always open. Any questions, give me a call. And, you know, thanks a lot for coming by, folks. You know, we really appreciate it. And hopefully uh, we could be a great service to people who need our, uh, who need our services. Here. There you go, folks. You got real estate law 101. You got liquor license law 101. Give him a call. He's here Monday through Friday. He's we're gonna put all his information out on our website. So follow us, uh, tag us. Uh, this week's giveaway is gonna be outrageous. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you.